So I tested my whole class and now I'm going to go right here where it says map growth reports and it will take you to a list of lots of reports. So if you want to make groups, I suggest you use the class report. It's the second report down and you click on that and then it's going to show you the term that you rostered it and the term tested. So we're looking at fall 2021, 2022. And then it's gonna give you some blue check boxes. So if you wanna do ELA, unclick mathematics and unclick science, and you wanna keep language arts checked. And then um, other optional groupings, I like to test by writ. So that's the score that they get at the end of the test. And you want to do instructional area descriptors. And then there's a box right here on the bottom. It tells you small group display. Click that box and it'll give you the groupings. And then you want to click PDF report. And then it'll generate the report. And then the first screen will give you like an overall view of your class. And the red bars are your students who are scored low. Your orange uh, groupings are your students who scored low average. Yellow is average. Green is high average. And blue are your highs. So looking at my class, just the initial uh, first page, I have 12 in red and I have nine in orange and that's it. So I know I have my work cut out for me. So if I keep scrolling though, it'll break it down even further for me. Um, so I can see in, so it'll tell me, for example, foundational skills. It'll tell me how many students need foundational skills. So I have 13 students who need foundational skills, six who are low average and two who are average. So I know when I'm working with foundational skills, I'm gonna hit those 13 and six students. The next best thing on the next page is it actually groups them for you. So if you look, it has them kind of in order. So it takes the work out of you sorting. You know how we used to make uh, spreadsheets? It's here for you. So if you look, first one is one of my students and he scored low and it gives you their RIT score right here. So then you can very easily group them by their RIT score. So if you have a student that scored, for example, this one right here, he scored about a 120, 118, 120. So I wanna have the students who scored in that range in his group. I wouldn't p pick more than maybe 20, 30 points above that for your group. Um, so this was really nice. I, once I found this report, I was very excited because it made it very easy for me to group my students because I knew right away, based on the data, how to group them. Another report I found is class breakdown by RIT, and it says instructional area or projected proficiency. So the instructional area is really cool. So again, Pick the term that you tested them, you pick your school, you pick your name, and then your class, and do it by writ, writ, always do by writ. And then you're gonna view report online. If you look, let's do uh, language arts reading, it, there's a link, so click that blue hyperlink, and then it takes you to the groupings again. So it shows you how they're grouped. So for example, foundational skills, the students who scored in 121 to 130 are one, two, three, four, five students. If you click the RIT score right here on the top, it's a link. It tells you exactly what they need. So if you go to foundational skills and then you click phonics and word recognition, click it. It tells you everything they need to be working on. So for example, these students need consonants and it tells you matching the letter to the sound. Recognizing the letter F makes the F sound. It tells you even the letters that they need. So next week, looking at my data and looking at my lessons, I am going to be pulling um, my students who fell in the low range. So if you look here on the NWA, there's, it says consonants. So the letter we're gonna work on next week is actually M. So it says recognizes the letter M, 
makes the mm sound. As you can see, these are the students. So Adrian, Cheyenne, Ivy, Dylan, and Gerardo. I'm gonna be pulling them for about 15 minutes and we're gonna go over the consonants that I taught them before and then I'm gonna introduce the letter M with them.